Hi everybody, Claire from Green Schools here. Um, today I'm going to show you some simple ways to try and find insects, spiders and other small invertebrates that might be living in your trees, hedges or other climbing plants around your school. Um, so oftentimes these can be difficult to just spot with your naked eye. So a good tip is to try what we call shaking a tree. So to do this you need to put an object like a, a big old sheet um, or even an upside down umbrella underneath the branch of that tree and then give it a good shake. That way any insects that are on the branches or on the leaves will fall down onto your sheet and you can have a good look at them. Um, so a couple of tips for you. So first of all you want to choose um, a sheet or even a pillowcase or an umbrella um, which is okay to use in terms of having a, a light colour. So white or cream is probably the best, it'll be easier for you to spot something moving on it but any light colour is fine. Um, when you are um, spreading it out, try and make it a wide as a wide as you can and um, don't just have it in a, a tiny little strip. So spread it out underneath um, the branch and then you want to shake for about 10 seconds and give a good firm shake. You want to make enough movement that any insects will fall off and um, but do be careful that you don't break or snap any branches while you're doing it. And after you've shaken it and um, stretch out again your your pillowcase or your sheet as wide as possible and allow everyone in your group to circle around it. But don't walk across it or don't kneel on top of it but just crouch beside it and then look really closely at it and um, the first thing you'll probably spot is movement so your eye will be drawn to any movement that the insect or the invertebrate makes and then you can try and identify what it is. Um, so bring out um, ID sheets with you those will help you um, to work out what you're looking at and maybe you might also want to photograph or even sketch any insects on your sheet. Um, the other thing to think about is what kind of plant are you going to investigate? So different trees and bushes will have different types of insects living in them. Some will have more than others. Um, and the best thing for you to do is try it yourself. Try some different types and see which ones have more or fewer insects in them. So ivy is a really good plant to try. So that's um, that plant which tends to grow up trees or over hedges or walls and you can see it on the wall behind me and um, that usually has a really diverse amount of creatures in it and um, trees like oak and sycamore are very good as well and ones which might not be so good are um, evergreen trees anything with a waxy or a spiky leaf tends not to have too many insects in them um, so I'm going to show you um, a few different techniques for, for shaking the branches now and then hopefully you can try it yourself so to start off, make sure you've got your, your sheet or your pillowcase spread out underneath the branch you're going to shake. Um, for this um, horse chestnut tree, I'm able to kind of gather a few branches together um, so that I'm shaking a large number at once and just point it down a little bit towards, um, towards your sheet if possible. So some trees you won't be able to do that because um, they'll be a bit more sturdy, um, but with horse chestnut you can. Um, and then just allow them to fall back into place. Um, in other cases you might have some um, trees where the branches are sloping downwards so then again you can go kind of behind them, point down and you can shake one branch and then the other um, if they're kind of layered above each other. Um, and then make sure again that you look closely um, for signs of movement. So it might take your eyes a few seconds to become adjusted until you see what you have actually moving on your sheet. Um, might look blank and then you'll spot something and um, for example like this little frog hopper here and um, you can put your finger underneath the sheet to help you kind of um, pinpoint where it is if you want and um, here we've got um, a laurel and um, when you feel it it feels quite quite hard quite waxy so this is something you wouldn't expect maybe to find um, much life in um, but it's good to, to give it a try um, and see for yourself um, so in this situation, after I pull out um, my pillowcase, I don't really see anything moving. Um, so ivy I mentioned um, was a, a really good place to look. Um, and you might have ivy growing in different ways. So here it's kind of growing on top of a hedge, on top of a wall. And when you shake it, the whole thing shakes. In other cases on a wall, you might only be able to shake a small bit at once. Um, which can make it a little bit harder to, to find something. Best type of ivy to shake is when there are um, long um, pieces which you can kind of get a hold of and give a good shake to. So for example here, 
and I found a shield bug and um, landed on the sheet here so um, this is a Hawthorne shield bug um, and it usually is going to stay quite still. Um, last place to check, check is on yourself so if you're the person that has um, shaken um, the plant you might find one something like an aphid on your arm um, last tip is after you're finished make sure you put all of your species of insect back um, at the base of the tree or under the bush don't leave them out in the open or on the sheet um, and do take a spotter sheet with you to help you identify the things that you found um, it probably won't cover everything so do take pictures and then when you get back into the classroom give it a go again best of luck everyone